The warming up exercise starts from the tip of the body to the center of the body. A flexible body is extremely important in order to perform strong and fast kicks and punches. It will also prevent you from receiving injuries. The warming up exercise in karate is different from other sports. It's to make your body a weapon. Crossing toes vertically, stretching toe tips, and flexing them back will build up strong and flexible toes. This is an exercise for the knee joints, which are the fulcrum for leg techniques. Strong and damaging power is possible only if the lower half of the body is stable. Also, the spring of the knee and the footwork is the driving force to gain speed and height. Not only in karate, but in any athletics, the exercise of the Achilles tendon is very important. Especially in karate, in which the kicks have a major function, it is necessary to stretch out the Achilles tendon carefully. To be flexible in the hip joints is very important when performing high kicks. If you are stiff in the hip joints, it will result in losing the balance of the upper body. In any kick techniques, it is important to stretch out the knee completely, otherwise power will be decreased. By stretching the legs, you will improve flexibility in the knees. The purpose of ankle exercise is to improve the snap and rotation of the heel. This is an important exercise for kick techniques. Of course, the ankle plays an important role as a major part supporting the body weight. Two, two, I have time. Eight, 
二、三、四、五、六、一、八、九、十。はい、足だよ。体を起こしてください。頭上手やってって、前後屈重力の位置。はい、一、二、三、四、五、六。一、八、九、十。はい、上伸ばして。はい、左右倒します。一、二、三、四、五、六。一、八、九、十。前後にしって。はい、一、二、三、四、五、六。一、八、九、十。足を開いて。はい、左右に正面。1、2、3、4、5、6、1、8、9、10。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8、9、10。はい、上に伸ばして。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8、9、10。はい、上に伸ばして。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8、9、10。はい、上に伸ばして。1回し受け is the very basis of karate. One hand does a jodan block, and the other does a gedan block. This exercise is an extension of the mawashi uke, in which you move the shoulder blade, stretch the torso, and twist the hips. While performing hand techniques such as seiken or shuto, your wrist is under great pressure. Not only to strengthen the wrist, but also to have flexibility in joints is necessary in order to convey the power from tanden. Therefore, you must completely focus on your training. While circulating the wrist, the back of the hand should be turned upwards while performing the movement slowly and consciously. Since competition has become more frequent, there are not many opportunities to practice hook techniques. Therefore, this exercise is a rare opportunity to practice them. When you use the kokan in a vertical movement, the thumb should be placed on the base of the ring finger. When you use the kokan to the left and the right side, the thumb should be placed on the base of the middle finger. In order to do the shote, the wrist should be correctly bent. Two, two, three, four. 